Hello and welcome to this week's flipped learning video for Year 1 Maths. This week in Maths we will be introducing multiplication. We will be looking at how you can make equal groups, using repeated addition to solve multiplication problems, creating arrays or equal rows, and using doubling as a method of multiplication. First of all, we're going to look at making equal groups. Hannah has put some strawberries on plates. Did Hannah make equal groups with the strawberries? Let's have a look. There are three strawberries on the first plate, three strawberries in the second plate, and three strawberries on the third plate. There are three strawberries on each plate. The strawberries are in equal groups. Now, let's have a look at Sam. Sam put four strawberries on the first plate, two strawberries on the next plate, and four strawberries on the last plate. Are these, groupy? Are these groups equal? No, the strawberries are not in equal groups. The strawberries are in unequal groups. Now, let's help Sam make his groups equal. He has four strawberries on the first plate and four strawberries on the last plate. So he needs to put four strawberries on the middle plate. At the moment he has two strawberries. So let's make four. Three, four. Now he has four strawberries on each plate. So his groups are equal. Let's have a look at making equal groups. Hannah is going to make four groups of two. She is going to put two cards on each plate. Maybe you can pause the video here and draw what Hannah is going to do. Let's have a look at Hannah's groups. She put two strawberries on each plate. How many cards are there all together? Well, we know there are two strawberries on each plate, so we can count in groups of two to find out how many cards there are all together. Two, four, six, eight. There are eight cards all together. Now, let's help Ruby count the fruit drinks. How many cans of fruit drink are there all together? Ruby has put the fruit drinks in equal groups. There are five cans in each group, so we can count in groups of five to find the answer. Can you help me? Five, 10, 15, 20. There are 20 cans of fruit drink all together. We can write a number sentence to show this. We can say that five plus five plus 5 plus 5 equals 20 or we could say that 4 groups of 5 makes 20. Now let's look at how we can make equal rows as a way to solve multiplication problems. Hannah wants to know how many flowers are there all together in her garden. However it is very hard to work it out when the flowers are scattered throughout the garden like this. She could count each flower, but that will take quite a long time. Let's look at how we can make equal rows and use a multiplication as a way to solve this problem. Hannah has put the flowers in rows. There are three rows all together and there are 10 flowers in each row. Now we can work out the problem easily by counting in groups of 10. 10, 20, 30. So three tens equals 30. Now let's look at how we can solve multiplication problems by making doubles. Here you see a 10 frame. How many red dots are on a 10 frame? Yes, you're right, there are four dots on the 10 frame. Now, what would double four be? Double means we are making two groups. So, 
What is two groups of four equal to? Let's have a look. Look at the two ten frames. Two fours equals eight. Now, let's try one more multiplication problem by making doubles. How many dots are on the ten frame? Take a moment to count them. There are seven dots on the ten frame. Now, let's work out what double seven is equal to. Double seven means two groups of seven. Can you count and find out what two sevens is equal to? Two sevens equals 14. Thank you very much for watching this week's flipped learning video in maths.